Well, Hillary Clinton isn't letting the investigation of newly discovered emails get in the way of campaigning. The Democratic presidential nominee will appear at Schmale Park tonight for a 615 appearance. People are arriving at the park for the rally, and Local 12's Jeff Hirsch is among them there. He joins us now live. Jeff? Well, good afternoon. As you said, the folks are starting to file in here. It's a, a beautiful location with the suspension bridge behind us and the river. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I was just down the street at U.S. Bank Arena for a Donald Trump rally. And this was right after the allegations uh, of, of women who had claimed that he had, groped, uh, that he had groped them. And this was after the Access Hollywood tapes came out. And I asked all the people going in that I could in that Trump rally, do those things make any difference, the tapes, the allegations? They said absolutely not. They didn't believe them. They wouldn't have any impact. They were not going to change their votes. So today, the people going into the Hillary Clinton event, I said, you know, will the James Comey FBI letter about the emails have any impact? Are you going to change your vote? The answer here as well, a resounding no. Has it dented your trust at all or is it just nope? Not really. I think it was just like a last plea to try to get her, you know, to look bad. But I don't think it worked for most people. Any thoughts on the FBI director doing what he did? I don't know if he had a choice. I, I do wish that they could get this, you know, tell what they found out before the election, but it's, I don't think he had a choice. It gave me pause, but I'm not going to change my vote. I'm still voting for Hillary. Because? Uh, much like my sister at Democratic Platform. The latest revelations, have they made any difference in uh, your opinion? No. Why not? Well, one, we don't even know what's in the emails, you know. They released the emails. It seems like it was a political move on Comey's part to release the emails, to write a letter to the Senate with some vague, like, we found some emails. They don't know what's in the emails, so how could we say it has any bearing on this? Now, the big question is, has it had any impact on the polls? And early indications are no you know the first few polls out after the revelations over the weekend actually started friday that it really hasn't moved the needle very much uh, depending on which poll you want to pick it's uh, about a three-point lead for hillary clinton maybe a one-point lead for trump it's basically very very close and this last week is just going to be a lot of finger pointing and, and the voters may be pointing their fingers going but, you know, those are the choices. And also, of course, they're the third and fourth party choices. So it's going to be a really nasty final week. Live along the riverfront, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. Back to you. Yeah, there's a lot of shoulder shrugging, Jeff. And my guess is in almost every poll that we're dealing with, we're dealing with margin of error at this point down to the end, aren't we? Yeah, right. When you hear one, two, three points, your margin of error, give or take, a lot of them are three and a half percent, give or take. So, you know, 53 you know, 50 percent, 50 percent is really could be 5347. So a very close poll actually could turn into a blowout if you got a three point margin of error and it cuts both ways. So, yeah, it, it's very, very close. Jeff, appreciate it. Thank